I'm Chris Zweig, and coming next on CJ at the Movies, Jamie Lee Curtis back as Laurie Strode in the new Halloween sequel, Steve Carell in a drama about drug addicts, and the directorial debut of Paul Dano. All this and coming on next on CJ at the Movies. Our first movie is Halloween, which chooses to be a sequel direct from the 1978 John Carpenter horror classic, with Jamie Lee Curtis back in her iconic role of Laurie Strode, who has been preparing to kill serial killer Michael Myers the day he escapes from the mental institution. I have prayed every night that he would escape. So I can kill him. Sure, it has some annoying characters, mostly the teenagers portrayed here, but I still admire the way director David Gordon Green uses patience, style, and ambitions to keep the Halloween spirit alive. Jamie Lee Curtis is smart and determined as Strode, and even in this generation, she keeps things rolling. And I'm in my seat every time I see Michael Myers pop up and raise some hell. Check it out! Next up, we have Beautiful Boy, an underrated indie drama based on the father-son memoirs starring Steve Carell as a loving father who is torn apart knowing that his little boy, played by Timothy Chalamet, has resorted to drugs and struggles to whip him back in shape. There are moments that I look at him and I wonder who he is. By underrated, I meant the reviews for this movie have been mixed, but I still found it to be a true portrayal of drug addicts and how they can or can't recover from addiction. This is a serious movie about serious issues, and Carell and Chalamet both give authentic performances. Again, check it out! And finally, our last movie is Wildlife, which so far opens in New York and Los Angeles. This is the directorial debut of Paul Dano, who adapts Richard Ford's book into a gripping and poetic drama. Ed Oxenbold plays a teenager who's just moved to Montana in 1960, and his parents' marriage is shaken when his recently unemployed father, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, decides to fight the recent wildfires, and in this scene, his wife, played by Carrie Mulligan, is devastated by his decision. But it won't be for long. What if, not if you get yourself killed. It's gonna snow, the fire's gonna go out, they're gonna send everybody what home. Snows at all? Joe, what do you think? Is oh this a bad God. idea? Don't ask him, he'll prove it. He's anything. almost grown. There's right. a saying what happens, happens in this family. Burned up and you never see him again. What you goes, don't out say out that, G! And the tension kicks in when Bill Camp, as a wealthy businessman, becomes Mulligan's lover, and the boy begins to worry about his family's future. What's going to happen to us? Wildlife is a human movie that never follows the typical period drama or coming-of-age story cliches but explodes with such grip and texture. We're eager to know which direction the family will lean towards and how they'll overcome it. This is a people movie about people, all thanks to director Paul Dano and his co-writer Zoe Kazan, and the performances from Mulligan, Oxenbold, and Gyllenhaal are electric. When this comes to your local art house theater, go see it! Well, those are the new movies I'm reviewing this week. I'm Chris Zweig, and I'll see you at the movies!